Okay, David's down there. Just going to have to wait for some some wind here, the right wind. And uh, right now we've got a pretty good crosswind. It keeps shifting. It's the first flight out of West Lafayette for 2020. Go ahead and fire this thing up. We're up, flying out of West Lafayette, Ohio. Got a heck of a crosswind coming off that left side there. I uh, launched from one end, and David is going to give it a shot from the other end. Heading west down the runway, about 30 miles an hour. Yeah, the other day, uh, flying out of Graham Field, uh, that was the first flight of the year and had been flying for a while, so just wanted to concentrate on making sure uh, all the equipment was running well and uh, had a good takeoff. And, and being as bumpy as it was, I uh, wanted to just uh, get up and try to enjoy a little, little bit of flight time and not to worry about, uh, to worry and not worry too much about, uh, you know, camera work, film work, make sure the camera was going and so forth. But today we've got two cameras, one up front, the Hero 7. Super good with stabilization. Uh, definitely takes the, uh, the jello out. So uh, that's real nice with that camera. And I've got a... a GoPro Hero 4 with a uh, Bluetooth audio pack connected uh, to a Senna, and that works out real well. See in the uh, mirror there, the wing just going back and forth and the whole rocking of the strike. When I first started flying a uh, trike, if it would have done that on the, my first several flights, I would have definitely uh, been worried. But not too worried now. I do have a, uh, a vulture flying uh, to the left of me, and I'll just head over to the right. Uh, he's probably got him a uh, thermal over there. He's flying. Got some of these hills over here, and, the, and some of the wind comes off these hills, and it'll give you a lot of lift and bounce you around. And there's another uh, vulture flying over there as well. So it's about uh, 5.30, so it's not uh, real early. These vultures aren't flapping their wings, so they're still catching uh, thermals. They're just cruising around, so we want to be aware of our situation while we're up here. Over the winter, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of all the famous YouTube paramotor pilots out there. Pretty good stuff going on. They had that uh, Palm Bay fly in down there in uh, Florida, and that was uh, that was pretty cool. I'd hate to be an air traffic controller and have to worry about those guys because I'll tell you what, they were. Just from the video I saw, they were everywhere. There were wings flying everywhere, coming up everywhere, people going every which direction. And, uh, it looked uh, pretty exciting. And he's up and off. Doesn't take much for that thing to get up the air. Like a launch a rocket. All right, I'm going to head out towards uh, the river. 
doing about 32 miles an hour on the ground. So it's 29 in the air. About 215 feet. About 5,200 RPMs, or about uh, 460 feet in the air, about 33 miles per hour. And we're heading over West Lafayette. Still getting some rocking and rolling here, and a lot of lift. Really green down there, a lot of green. And as soon as this all dries up, the farmers will get out here and plant some soybeans and some corn. The river looks like it's pretty swollen over in a lot of places over there. What was river looks like lakes now. There's a vulture right in front of us. He's flapping his wings awfully hard, but uh, he's still getting some lift. So he's searching for something. He's, he's definitely winging it a lot, and I'm still bouncing around, so there's some thermals out here. Been flying for about uh, 26 minutes, about 157 feet off the ground. I'm going to go over this little ridge here, look around, see David way back there like he's still back over by the runway. Got my shadow right down there. There's some lift. That took us up. Get over this, uh, away from this hill off to the right where the wind is coming off over this hill to the right. I believe what's causing some of this. Get some altitude, we're about uh, 284 feet. Been flying for 30 minutes. We're at 315 feet, about 22 miles an hour. Trips are out about uh, on three. Uh, it'll go all the way out to, I think it's 24. And you can put it to 12. And once you're at 12, you're gonna have to stop using your, your brakes and start doing some wing tip steering. Because it'll go with the reflex mode. You want to stay off your brakes. All right, we're going to drop down a little bit. Instead of bouncing down up here real high, we'll go bounce down low for a while. Farmers put nitrogen in the ground over here. Yeah, we're doing real good on fuel. We've been flying for about 34 minutes. We're about 192 feet off the ground, doing about 46 miles an hour. Heading east. We're a couple hours south of Cleveland, an hour east of Columbus. Cincinnati, that area is down in the southwest part. We're located in the southeastern part of Ohio. We'll go over here and check out this golf course, see if it's open and kind of shape it. It's in. A lot of times it'll flood. We'll see if it burnt off all the floodwaters over here on that golf course. That water looks really nice, really clear. Must, 
they either put dye in it or it's look at all the fish. They didn't get any mud in it. I know my ponds are just full of mud. There was a bunch of fish that came up to the top over there. That was pretty cool. The geese are walking around. a really pretty setup down there. Yeah, there's some people down here golfing. Well, 5,300 RPM, and we're just cruising along. Still a little bumpy. Yeah, there's a vulture right there. They're still in the air. It's, uh, it's about 6 o'clock. about a mile and an eighth from the uh, runway, about 400 feet in the air, doing about 19, 20 miles an hour. I'm going to head back towards the runway. This uh, Dudek Universal is flying really well. Fresh Breeze has a, uh, a wing called a Relax, and uh, for, for a, you, can use, you can use a 25-meter wing, uh, and I think they have a, maybe 23 and a 25, uh, and that'll uh, carry the load of what this uh, new deck will carry. I don't know a whole lot about the Relax wing, but... Uh, Being smaller, it might cut through the air a little bit different. With a lot of crosswinds that we get out here, it might be easier to launch with. Uh, these, this big wing will really catch those, those crosswinds. But uh, it's called a relax. 342 feet off the ground. 24 miles an hour. It's really starting to calm down out here now. I'll say that, and then all of a sudden I'll get a, a big rumble here. But uh, we're at about 308 feet, doing about 20 miles an hour. We're heading south. Got a flag over here on this grain elevator. Give me an idea what's going on with the wind. 353 feet in the air. Got a vulture right down below us to the left. Two of them. And another one, a couple more. A lot of flooding over here, boy. Oh, the river turned into lake over here. Yeah, it covered the whole road up down there. Covered the road up over here, too. You know, somebody's cut off here at this road. I wonder if they can go across the other side. Oh, 
Oh, they're cut off on both sides here. And it's open. Looks like they fixed it so they could get across here. Yeah, this is all uh, this is all flooded. It's all crop land here. It's not very deep, but uh, definitely flooded. Smells like pigs over here. Out. Been flying for about an hour and three minutes. About 614. 250 feet above the ground, doing about 33 miles an hour trip through. It's about uh, six or three. Sometimes it's hard to read this thing. But Adam said it's three, so I believe it's three. 31 miles an hour, getting pushed by the wind, cruising right along, uh, 200 feet off the ground, about 29 miles an hour. RPMs are about 5,100. little bouncy there. Okay, we're going to make a left-hand turn and head down the runway and land. Been flying for about an hour and ten minutes. Okay, a little bit of brakes, filling it out. Got a little bit of speed going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Landed with the wind. Okay, we're down.